but we are doing the tier list live from the dojo. And with me today we have Hawkeye. Hey everybody. M4. Hello, hello. And last minute, Tutitron on his Nokia from 1985. Salam. All right. Well, it has been an interesting month. I have played. I think um, Tune of the Month is probably unanimous this month. Anybody not picking Cheshire? Someone might pick, pick uh, Vandal, so don't don't make that assumption. <laughs> I mean, my vote's actually Peacemaker, but... But only, uh, <laughs> but only because Cheshire is so absurd. So, let's go ahead and just get the elephant out of the room. Let's talk about Cheshire. Uh... Unanimous S tier across the board. I'm really surprised when I first saw her kit. I knew she'd be good, but I didn't expect her to be this good. Hawkeye, what are your thoughts on her? Um, her initial kit uh, was very good to begin with. Uh, there were some changes made uh, during feedback that kind of put her over the top, uh, notably the ignoring debuff immunity on her basic. Um, but yeah, she's, she's just nuts. Um, you know, she's very plug and play, doesn't need any support. As long as she can get a turn, she gets rolling. Uh, I think everybody's seen all the videos of her and, uh, the one question remaining is what is her actual speed? Historic's asking M4, do you want to break that down for us or Hawkeye, whoever can explain it? And we have no chat. idea. <laughs> Her, oh, that's easy. Her actual speed is 114, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. He's close. All right. But on. she buffs and then gives herself speed ups. And then. Oh, yeah. But there's. Yeah. She's 114 plus three speed up. Right. There you go. So what do speed ups give? 10%? Roughly. So 30%. Somewhere between nine of them. So that means she's at like 150 ish. So that would make it the fastest it, character in the game. It's it depends. <laughs> I, <yeah. laughs> I haven't actually I haven't actually tested her against um, Penguin. Does she go before Penguin? So here's the deal. I've I've been testing this morning and I plan to do a deep dive on Thursday night. But her speed is somewhere around one forty five to one forty eight relative. But the thing is, here that's just a relative speed because. You're comparing against tunes with the turn meter up, but yeah, it, it's it's not going well. We thought we had it, and then calculations, and then nope, <laughs> she does go before tunes, so we think she's not gonna go before. So we'll we'll get to the bottom of it sometime coming soon. Doom is saying it's one forty two point eight exactly. No, it's not. It's it's you, you've seen the test where she's between one twenty three and one thirty one twenty four with fifteen percent turn meter up, right? That puts her at around one forty five. So like I said, it depends. It depends whether you're looking or counting. Her speed changes. Now I actually haven't used her solo, but it looks like she can solo whole teams. Pretty good. Have you she you guys done that either? Can. That's actually how you should play Siege. My so whole 2D tune yes. on her, my whole 2D tune on her is literally like solo Cheshire. Like, I think I spent the first two fights with her on a team, and then I was like, you know what, f this. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot this is WL. Um, <laughs> it's like screw the team. I will just see how well she does solo, and I was like, holy crap, she just soloed an entire Atrocitus team. Oh. Let's see how she does against. Um, a Hal Jordan team, and at the entire time I was waiting for the enemy AI to drop the hammer. The dude never did, and I beat the entire team um, with debuff immunity. I fought Terra team solo, beat them. I, I think every now and again she'll randomly get one shot by someone despite having like 50 evasion ups, um, even if they can't miss. Uh, I don't know how that works, but largely... She can solo anything she wants to. So, Tutti, you're telling me if you don't pick any tunes, you win? Well, I think, actually, allies are a weakness for her, most, like, especially if you're up against another Cheshire or a 
uh, yeah. Trigon it's, it's, or something because they'll get yeah. disease and they'll take her health for her. Yeah, especially if it's the tunes that you pick specifically, right? <laughs> I'm a, I'm sorry, you are alluding to some shade, and I'm not here for it. I have no idea what you're talking about. She's <laughs> good solo, basically, is what you're trying to say. Yes, she's very good solo. I still think Hal Jordan can shut her down if you find her solo, because the hammer should stun her and take away a lot of buffs, opening a couple doors for you. Um, oh, but I, the AI was just stupid enough not to use it. To do that, yes. I do have a question for you, Duty. This is specifically for you. Have you tried sure. Bloodsport on her? I actually haven't yet. I haven't really found her anywhere yet. I've tried Eradicator against her, but he's not like... <laughs> The, the, the problem is that he's not fast enough, which was why I didn't try Bloodsport either, because Bloodsport's even slower, because by the time they get a turn to purge all her buffs, she's already diseased the very vast majority of your team to the point where everyone dies. Um, so, no, I have not done that yet. So I guess the question still begs to be asked to D is, who's the tune of the month for you? <laughs> Vandal. If we are omitting Cheshire because she's overpowered, then Vandal. And if we're not, then Cheshire. So let me ask you a question, Tootie. I know you hate being the meta. So mm -hmm. did you? What what rank is your Cheshire now? Well, she's L three because I still had to do a Tootie tune for her. Like I still I still have to level them up because of, of my YouTube channel. You know, I can't leave them hanging. I mean, you used to. Um, yes and no. I still leveled up Asriel, mainly because where, where, of the raids that month. But I believe you get. Where's your Power Girl at nowadays? Power Girl and Wonder Girl are still at the very bottom of my <laughs> roster. I don't think I've put much gear or green essence into either one. See, but to be fair, they dominated the meta for, like, ages. The only reason my Spectre even has gear or anything was because I did it before he was a Mega God character. But my question is, is that you love disease, so is it painful to you that they're so powerful? I do love disease. Uh, but, yeah, it is becoming aggressively destructive at this point. Um, it is, like, it's become an oppressive thing. Like, Cheshire and Trigon are cool and all, uh, and they're they're very fun pl to play. So like, I still enjoy playing with them. Um, I just hate how it puts the game on easy mode. Like, if they took those characters down a notch, like defensively or offensively, I don't know. But either one would be fine. Uh, just to like balance them out, I would love that love it a lot more uh, than it currently is because right now it's just easy easy mode. You know, it's, I, and that's not fun. I. I just noticed that in the past two, three months, there's been a whole lot of uh, good disease tunes that came out, and I think it seems to line up with a certain new member in the NDA group. I wonder if that's a coincidence. <laughs> um, I did want to hear Kage's thoughts, if we could unmute him for a moment, if you have a moment to talk about Cheshire Kage, because I know you love her. I don't remember how to unmute him, though. Uh, he can unmute himself, actually. Oh, okay, Kage, unmute yourself if you want to talk about Cheshire. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if Kage figures out how to unmute, then we'll um, let him speak. If not, we will go ahead and move on. So let's go to the other new tune, which is Stitch. Which I'm kind of surprised to see two A tiers and looks like two B tiers. Uh, Hawkeye... If you want to tell us your thoughts on Stitch, I didn't think Stitch was that great. I mean, Stitch is okay, but I just, I don't know. I haven't been that impressed. Um, I mean, Stitch slows down and almost completely stops uh, some of the most troublesome tunes in the game. Uh, constantly being able to apply intelligence downs while gaining massive stacks of intelligence downs. Um, also putting debuff immunity on every single turn as an AoE. Um, Stitch is really, really good. Um, I haven't used Stitch even with, outside of Siege, and Siege is just 
not that usable. So, well, I mean, it, it goes back to the same problem we've had since Atrocitus re- rework is for the most part all the. It, it's really hard to rank tunes when that's what the meta is. Yeah. Um, because you know this siege, you're really pigeonholed into using certain tunes just because. You're gonna run into Atrocitus. You're gonna run into Supergirl. You're gonna run into Cheshire, uh, Trigon. Okay. I, I, I don't know about being pigeonholed. I use different tunes all the time and still lose tunes all the time. So I don't think I get pigeonholed <laughs> into a specific tune. I would love to be pigeonholed. I would love to be pigeonholed, and then I will win. <laughs> uh, that, that's because you're overthinking and not just running Atrocitus, Supergirl, like everybody else. Um, so, but I mean, there's a lot of tunes that it was very difficult to try to actually grade out this month because they just too they're too slow, or they have no defensive capability, so they're not going to survive that initial burst. Um, Stitch, unfortunately, gets the two awareness at the beginning of battle. Um, I wish we had thought it through a little bit more with the current state of the meta, and maybe bump, try to get it bumped up to three. That way, it can. Uh, Absorb the atrocitus hit and then two strikes from Supergirl. Uh, that I think that would have made a big difference. <clears throat> but really solid kit. I mean, there's still a couple bugs floating around for Stitch as well. Um, I, I took Stitch RB5 this month, uh, even with those bugs. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very high on Stitch. I think that uh, they're going to be around for a while just based off the ability to. Slow down Spectre, Etrigan, and Black Adam, as well as uh, Fatal Savage, who's kind of starting to crawl up towards that group himself. You're so high, you took Stitch RB5, right? Mm-hmm. M4, what are your Stitch thoughts? I, I, think, I think Stitch is really good, but it, no place in the meta right now. That's a, that's that's the only problem. Yeah, but really, really good tune. I I think we're probably due to see a anti rage or anti disease something in the next couple months. Probably both. <clears throat> yeah, at some point in the next couple months. I Every, mean, everyone's backing on uh, cyborg soups winning the uh, bowl would be the, would be that right. I'm sorry, what was that in for? Uh, Cyborg Soups won the WB <clears throat> Polar, right? Yeah, I believe so. So, so can't, miss, can't miss Green. Might yeah. be the tune that we're looking for. Kage's always complaining that he's suppressed. <laughs> That's because he's depressed. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. So how did how did Tutti get the speaking <clears throat> speaking privileges? Did you do the same thing? Because I'm amazed. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Koka, uh, Kage, you may have to wait for next time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there you go. Wait, did it work? Is it working? Yeah, we hear you. Yes. Yeah. Damn it, holy shit. That was insane. What? <laughs> Sorry, I uh, had a fiddle with the Discord settings, but how are you guys doing? We're doing lovely. No, we're good. We're... We were interested in your Cheshire thoughts. Uh, Cheshire, yes. Yeah, speaking of disease, dude, holy shit, I just got over COVID, and I'm, like, pissed, you know? Because, like, I was going to go to the airport, with my mask but then i forgot my mask and then i'm like asking around people i'm like hey do you have an extra mask and i guess i got a mask but didn't you you get like 11 boosters how did you get covid i don't know man i guess disease was too strong did they give you a used mask no i don't know (laughs) (laughs) it was folded so i assume it was new (laughs) but that was my fault um but yeah i was i had covid for like two days and then after two days, I'm like, oh, cool. I feel like a million bucks. 
and folks are dropping like flies right now, Kage. So let's get back on topic here. Buddy. <laughs> okay. All like right. So let's let's talk here. about diseases, not not a particular disease. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Cheshire, I don't know how far you guys got, but I, I tuned in when like there was someone crying about how strong Cheshire and Trigon was, and I'm with Feldmast. I, I'm seeing, I've been seeing, watching the debate going on in the main stage, and then Feldmast is like, dude, there's like a million different counters, like, that's not even an issue. And I think the, you know, I guess the argument's like, this is too strong, but at the end of the day, that's just kind of how Spectre or uh wonder girl were right you just you know you just kind of dealt with it you rolled the punches um, no i completely disagree with you okay so she go ahead nerve. yeah she go needs ahead. Nerve. like why why are we allowing all of these characters to be leagues above every other character in the game like why are why are we like just saying okay well it's totally fine like uh, there's sure there's some counters in the game but she's still on all ten of my teams that I have to fight, she Trigon's there too, and so is Spectre, and so is Supergirl and Atro Atrocitus. Like all these characters that are just leagues above everybody else. Okay, yeah, there's a counter, sure, but I don't want to continue bringing that counter every single fight for the same team every single day for the rest of my life. Like, what's the, what's the what is the prevalent, what is the prevalent PvP team right now? It's Atrocitus and all that fun jazz, who's, which is countered all by Cheshire. Or you put Cheshire on the team and uh, you have to bring, I don't know, whatever else out there. Connor Kent, uh, Owlman, what have you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and even then right. it doesn't work. But, and the same thing, they still show up every single day. I don't want to see it every single day. Okay? Is I the want problem variety. Atrocitus or is it Cheshire? The, the problem Cheshire is brand new, so she's not there yet, but she will be very, very right. soon. Here, here's going to be my rebuttal on that before we move to actual tier list discussion. All right. So once upon a time, uh, Azrael was like the big bad, right? And now no, very few people use Azrael in raid, right? So I, I'm not against the nerf. It's just that a tune coming out, like it's not even like available to everyone and we're going to ask someone to nerf it so let, let's give it a few weeks and then who knows like everyone like like let's let not even talk about azrael has been out for like years i was gonna say we could probably try gone was out <clears throat> azrael could probably drop to an a at this point i know right exactly but nothing changed with the kit it's just that new tunes came out that counters or makes azrael mostly irrelevant right and th that could happen to Cheshire. So yeah, the only why character that's really tune this early. Yeah, the only tune that's really survived the test of time is uh, Spectre. He's still just as bad as he always has been. But he, he, he is. But he's he, coming back down to earth. You don't even see him as much as before. He's still good, right? So that's why I don't want to nerf. Because first, we need the challenge in this game. I mean, if everyone's like, you can beat anything with any anyone, like, then where's the challenge going to come from? There needs yeah. to be those overpowered dudes to give us a challenge. And then no, second, the challenge like, comes from strategy and synergy, not from one particular tune that's going to show up on everybody's team. Like if, if you have a good, well-designed, balanced game where, you know, this one team is really good against this, and but it's weak against this, there's challenges there. That There's hills to overcome. There's tunes that you need to have in order to counter specific teams. But having one or two characters that are league above the rest shuts everything else down. Beauty, like, this is like 170 a gold... characters in this game that are unusable because they don't work at all in the current Beauty, meta. this is like your golden moment. This is like the 2D tune mantra where you can like bring in, I don't know, Aqualad and be like, hey, yeah, Aqualad counters Cheshire, you know? This is like a golden moment for your YouTube channel to pop off and be like making a million dollars. I'm gonna just ignore that because that didn't make sense <laughs> at all. Well, you, um, could, you could do like you could do a new theme like called instead of using the meta, do break the meta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, be like, oh, these are like ten different anti Cheshire teams, you know. Yeah, that's the I'll, thing, though. Is, too, no horse, matter what, there's argument is it's a cup. There, there's always going to be the strongest tune in the game. There's always going to be tunes that are above the other tunes. And there's just no way for everybody to be 
completely and totally balanced. No matter what, you're always going to have teams that rise above everybody else. Yeah, I agree with Hawkeye on that one. All right. I'm going to ask Kage a tier list kind of question instead of like arguing about the meta. <laughs> sure. All right. So do you do you regret your RB3 Cheshire? Because yeah, I, I know I... we've had this discussion whether uh-huh. disease or outright damage is better for her. So. Yeah, I what? do. It's a catch-22, right? So with Cheshire, you ha- you have to pick a lane. Because originally her kit was designed about around like using her three all the time. And so we made the adjustment to revolve around evasion and her basic. So, you know, we wanted to load up her basic with evasion and everything. Because originally the devs wanted her to like use her three and like, I don't know, first, uh, if you can imagine Ravager's kit, um, Ravager, I think, originally had, you know, her doing her three, her nuke attack all the time. But anyway, my issue with Cheshire, I do regret bringing her past, like, RB1, actually, because you, you, you don't need it. Because you either load up the opponent with diseases and let them, like, kind of bleed out, or, you know, you go RB5 and then what? You know, you you touch. She sneezes on someone, and like they're dead. So like, you you've taken away her like disease potential. So I do I do regret that. Like I I just sneeze on like an RB five Spectre, and like they're gone. Uh, let me see. I think um, I saw my RB three Cheshire one shot like a Supergirl, but I'd have to like go back and relook at the footage. But you know, she's just slamming you know uh greens out of the park because of her three how how strong her three is you know so i do regret that yeah i'm i'm kind of in the mind that she's a character you probably don't want to rebirth because i'd rather have the diseases because it would kill the entire team instead of just getting one kill because there's plenty of people that can one shot things yeah so like you're extremely boring to you because i if i wanted to like a a, a new you know a, a a character that can single uh, single shot nuke someone. I'd RB five back Batwoman or a Peacemaker, you know, or a Shiva. All right, let's move on. Came out here. I'm in the voice chat there. Um, what's next? That's the tier list. All game. right, let's move on to Vandal. Oh, Savage. Vandal! Look at this, Vandal. All right. So two D. This was the main reason we brought you. Mm. Let's get your thoughts on the rework. Um, I think that he is on the same level as Black Adam and Etrigan, but at the same time, I'd, I'm the only one with him RB5 at this point, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not quite seeing that. It's mainly because he his ramping is incredibly faster than... Black Adams is it's faster than Etrigan's is because he gets them in a lump sum, right? He gets his int ups in like right away, seven int ups, and they're two turns. So he gets 14 at any given time unless they're purged. Um, he's got his debuff clear, which is really, really nice. He, you um, mean, you mean bugged? <laughs> no, it's, it's not bugged. Um, it's it's vague enough that can, it doesn't can, can, you, can we get confirmation in that, Tootie? I <laughs> am one. going to leave it as is because it is vague enough of an ability that it is acting as as it's saying as it's as it's written down. It's acting like that, so I'm fine. Well, Doombox is here listening, so we're we're good. He and that's the thing about Savage and why I actually like him is the fact that he's balanced, right? He can. He can still be killed. All you have to do is get rid of his damage or death immunity, and that's pretty easy to do. Um, and if you can't do it, the AI will give you the opportunity anyway because it's basically like Cassandra Kane, where if he uses his AoE at all, he loses his death immunity because they only ever last one turn, um, and you have an opening to kill him at that point. And now so, he did... It was weird. All Siege, I didn't have a problem with him, and he's been on a lot of the teams I've faced is the fourth. But for some reason, about a week ago, I lost three matches in a row where he killed my Supergirl because his stupid death immune wouldn't disappear in time. 
His damage is just really good. Like his basic attack, that extra 70% damage is really, really nice. I feel like it hits harder than his two. On, um, turn, on turn two. On turn one, he doesn't hit hard. So it gives you that opening. But if you let him linger, he's kind of he's kinda like Stitch where he gains those imp ups on turn two and then it's just off to the races. He's going right. to really hurt your team. But even then, like he gets to turn two pretty quickly if you if you open with his two. Because it gives him 40% turn meter, so he's like, um, he gets to that second turn pretty pretty quickly and pretty easily, and then he's got the int-ups from his two, and potentially the int-ups from his passive to be able to absolutely lay out whoever he wants on that second turn. I like him a lot. I think he's really well balanced. I think he's he does good damage, good survivability. Um, I think he's on par with Black Adam and Etrigan. Well, he's definitely that's not, that's not that's not balanced then. He's he's well, a little bit on the OP side then. And then he's here's like the my, and Black Adam. Here's my favorite part about it is the fact that he starts with that death immunity, so he can survive the Atrocitus meta pretty easily. Like he he can surpass Black Adam and Etrigan against the you know mega burst characters right away. Another two D R B five meta tune is what you're saying. You know. <laughs> it is what it is. It's fine. I'm okay with it. I'll take that with a grain of salt. I can be the meta if it's a character I love. It's fine. <laughs> if Raish was S tier, I'd still use him. Um, Hawkeye or M4, any other thoughts on Vandal before we move on? I don't think he's balanced. I think he's too good. Especially with the every turn purge. He is fine. Um, I do not think that he's quite to Etrigan and Black Adam. I think he's probably just a hair below them. Uh, but, I mean, compared to where he was, guy's looking a lot better. So Yeah, from trash uh, to A tier, that's pretty good. Shouldn't be any complaints about him. No. I mean, it's if they make it to B tier after being trash, that's usually a huge, a huge thing. But, yeah, solid. On, probably on the lower side of the A tier, but... He seems like he's pretty decent. Um, actually, 2D, one more that we'll have you on for since another RB5 of yours this month. You had a lot of Siege. How are you doing in Siege, 2D? Oh, I didn't even play this last week. Really? You had like 11 RB5s for this Siege. And... <laughs> I, I know. I was we... really just annoyed at the characters on the first like four boards I had, and I was like, you know what? I don't really care that much. I'll just, I'm a, I'm, I bought her up to L4 anyway, so... Um, you base basically setting you up for world's finest for the past six months like yeah. all of the reverts and reworks and, and uh, the reworks of the siege bonus tunes are your tunes i know it's begging you to win i mean that's what happens when you take wb behind the alleyway and you know and well i keep forgetting <laughs> that we're on you know w o o w l or whatever you know i gotta be family <laughs> friendly here okay I can't say I'm gonna go S a D in the alleyway, unfortunately. Yeah, just just say your knees are a little scabby and let's move on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh so right, Raza Ghoul. Um he was a siege tune this month. I I don't think I've ever seen him. I, I don't I haven't seen him once. I haven't used him once this month. Uh he's really has do you still classify him as B tier two D? Um Probably not, border, just because of the borderline C right now. I, I want to change it. My vote to I'm, a C. I'm, I'm changing mine to C if two D says C. I I'm finding it more and more difficult to use him with all of the like mega red damage bursts, the mega evasion characters that are out there because he can't he can miss you know and he he's a physical tank which is nice but even at RB five he's getting power crept pretty easily right now. It's it's a lot harder to use him these days than it used to be. So yeah, C is not something I would be opposed to. Okay. Yeah, well, to do say C at RB five, it's it's C it is. It's, is it in a disease heavy siege? Yeah, he should see the, the disease leader and like, like he just I can't use him. He's literally unusable in siege. He's just gonna die. Yeah, he. I mean, I used him the first few boards, and it was okay. Um, oh, and that's why this, is that the reason why you stopped playing Siege? No, I mean because <laughs> Race did fine for me until like I started seeing some Cheshire's. That was Cheshire's 
the reason why I had to L1, stop using L1 him. L1 Cheshire, right. Um, and then the massive amounts of Atrocituses, I had to get rid of him off my siege list. But um, the first few boards he did fine, and uh, it just... It, the the revive thing needs to be the star system needs to be fixed because he revived for me like three three times and I still got a, one less star because of it so it's pretty mad about that. All right, so we will move him to a C. It looks like Kakai also changed his vote to a C. Yeah, I bet Luke would have changed it to trash. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe Luke gave him a B. To be honest with you. Me, me neither. I, I, I was expecting him to say trash. Yeah. Out of the w- gates. It, it goes back to the Atrocitus Supergirl. Like, sometimes I'm giving tunes kind of the benefit of the doubt that the meta is just kind of working against them rather than yeah. uh, they're, them actually falling off. Well, let's move on to Medfill. And this is another one. I can't believe people are still giving him a B. Like, I don't see how he's easy. Hardly, I mean, he's barely usable anymore. He kind of is. He's kind of like low B borderline C at this well, point. Not because he's terrible. It's just that his leadership is unusable. Is... Um, well, it's it's not. He, he, it's just that it's too random to rely on it. That's what I mean. There, there's n- no reason you would ever use him as a leader over the 87 good leaders now. And then and then he doesn't have a passive. You know what? That's I'm gonna change my vote to C. Get him reworked or something. I mean, well, there you he, go. he's got his basic does poor damage. He does the strength downs, which are nice. That's like his one thing. And he can give damage immunity that's easily purged now. So I'm like, what what does he bring to the table? Like, I just, I don't see. Honestly, you guys need to just fill up your entire C tier more because your B tier is freaking huge. Getting crowded, yeah. So so one thing that I wanted to use him for is that because Cheshire is the fastest. So you... Use Cheshire. One of your teammates gets the, I think it's seventeen percent per meter, 15. and then you, you, is it fifteen? Okay. Anyway, yes. Two uh, percent is a big, yeah, it's a big difference. Uh, mm-hmm. so so you get to go. However, it can mess up your turn order if if it goes to the wrong tune or if it goes to Cheshire again, then you don't gain the advantage. So that is so unreliable. And then if he wants to taunt. He can't take the hit. Then. Yeah, so you know, I'm just going to downgrade him to a C. I don't think anyone would want to use him over the other good leaders that we have. Lou just texted me that it's a C. <laughs> <laughs> you had to. How about, uh, how about Ratio? What did, what did he say? <laughs> uh, oh, he's a trash. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> all right. So do you have any objections to that, Hawkeye, Medfield? going to see no i, I mean it, it, again he, he's somebody that i you know i probably gave the benefit of the doubt to just because of the current meta um you know he's got some neat par- parlor tricks but uh kind of inconsistent all right let's move on to batman beyond another character that is uh, the borderline bc yeah it looks like three of us voted c legitimately um Okay. Guess I don't have to change my voltage to, for him to drop. Well, you would anyway, though. I mean, really, what does he do? He has a slow animation basic. That's the only thing that's worth doing. Everyone has immunities or buff clearing. So, what does he do? My favorite thing about him, and this is the only thing I think would keep him in the B tier. But if you guys, you probably disagree entirely, is. Um, his passive that puts three hit chance downs on you at the beginning of your turn. So when he's against you, when he's on the enemy team, that pisses me off. Like you wouldn't believe it. It makes it oh, so yeah. freaking difficult defense, to actually yes. hit someone. Um, but outside of that, you're right. He's absolutely C tier, but that yeah, one on ability your, is on what your side, it's, it's useless. Me. Right. But on the, on the, if you see him, that, that can be quite annoying, but you can't rely on it. So, well, and then, I mean, he, uh, any blue even looks at him, he dies. I mean, he's so squishy. And then he does. Yeah, even after the the stats boost, right? Yeah, and then he does no damage. I mean, he does. I you can't kill reds with him. Y- yes, you can. Yeah, his three hits kind of hard. Yeah. His his stat boost made him actually deal damage again. Yes, it, yeah. it's his squishiness that did not get addressed. He actually hits quite hard. Okay. Any thoughts on him? 
You know, I factored in his uh, annoyingness on defense into my grade. Um, he's a tune that he's just annoying enough on defense that you have to kind of plan how, how you need to address him uh, just to keep those uh, hit chance downs from piling up on you. Uh, again, he, he could probably be C, not a problem, but uh, I think he, he still holds his ground at P. All right. It looks like he dropped to a C. Me, Burger, and Loot all voted C. Moving on to Peacemaker. Who... Let's do your victory lap. I'm doing my victory lap. You know, a lot of people got upset that I suggested he get reworked to help deal with Spectre, which he does an okay job. Not not great, but... You mean step boosted? Yeah, step boosted, excuse me. Um, but... One thing that has been great, we've learned this siege, is that he is probably the single best counter to Cheshire out there when you combine him with Atrocitus. So I will say that that was a well, because without that stat boost, I don't think he'd even touch enough damage to hurt her. Because he still needs two hits to take her out under Atrocitus most of the time, unless he crits. But I'm... Um, quite happy that he's very good at dealing with her. Hawkeye, okay, let's hear your thoughts first. Um, he was actually quite annoying to me this season, just in general. Um, I've been running a lot of uh, Enchantress teams, just trying to throw something different out there that people aren't seeing, you know. I've been a lot of Atro and Supergirl and Red Hood and Pleads, so um, if she doesn't proc her uh, DI... And he uses his three. All of a sudden, we're all sitting ducks. So that was a pretty bad experience. Combine that with him just picking off Cheshire um, all month against me uh, before I started wising up and not going after him uh, with, with Cheshire. Uh, he, he's just with the way the meta is shifting with these tunes that like to hide, like to stack diva or stack buffs. I just think that he's made that jump back up into the A tier. Which he never dropped because I didn't put him on the list last month. Wisely. We know. So... Shut up. Not wisely. <laughs> I, I can't believe you all voted A for him. I took him RB4 and hoping that he'd be the answer in the siege. So the, here's the thing about Peacemaker. When he works, like even a noob uh, can, can go to the next round of the DOL when he works. <laughs> However... When he doesn't proc, is he, he? None of his moves are guaranteed. If he doesn't work, th those that same person that uh, people think that is good, like gets exposed. Like it just doesn't work. He well, does nothing. Or, or you could just say that you have above average luck the first go around, and then way, way below average luck the second go around. <laughs> but I think the average person with the average luck on their their abilities would say that he's a solid a tier character which four That's of the, the five did the problem is that okay if you rely on him to purge those uh, let's say enchantress or tripod or superman purge those uh, immunities 75 percent of the time wow he's great and then he's gonna fail you and then he just does nothing and then also there's still the problem of the uh the damage immunity in his buff which contradicts his like you know he wants to get hit so he can retaliate yeah, i used to think that but so often you need it to survive superman or somebody it should have been death immunity or something yeah or crit I agree. Immunity. Death immunity, uh, he needs a rework and he could solve all the meta problems oh okay I mean, not maybe, all maybe we should push for that well i don't mean all but <laughs> he would solve a lot we are not problems. pushing for a peacemaker rework <laughs> <laughs> After everything that came with the stat boost push, <laughs> no, thank you. Tootie, John, I would not be opposed to what it. Do you, what do you think, Tootie? That we need to get a, a peacemaker rework to fix his ineptitude, so he can take care of Spectre, Cheshire, and yeah. Trigon all all in one swoop. I'm actually game for that. You know, get rid of the damage <laughs> immunity, re throw in like ten stamina ups, make him. 100% on all hit harder. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, it's I'm just, just, it just need to. And be immune to disease as well. Guaranteed. That would be great. <laughs> that's, that's, that. 
He's a sexy <laughs> character. Okay, I would love him to actually be worth his weight. Because he maybe we should have the two characters every time somebody dies. Have you guys thought about that? <laughs> oh my gosh, no! Please don't. Uh, <laughs> All right. So I guess he's staying in A. I... Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. Right, he's not. Let's move to another A tier that's not quite as good as Peacemaker. And that would be no. Red Hood. <laughs> I mean, Red Hood's good. Uh, He's a solid character, but it's hard to use him. I, I don't know in what world you live in hate mail that you think Peacemaker's better than Red Hood. I, I, yeah, I'm going to be retroactively on Peacemaker now just because of that <laughs> comment. I mean, most of the time you can't use Red Hood because you have to get a faster leader. No, you don't. <laughs> There's so many ways to go first. I mean, like, it's staring us right in the face. Not, Cheshire. Not when Avery... Look, use Akage's uh, RV3 not, not Cheshire. Not at, uh, Atrocitus and B12. Bring your B12. Bring your Cheshire. Go first. <laughs> Red Hood lead. Um, so I think we all still agree on A. Yeah, I don't think anyone needs to hear more from you on Red Hood. I'm going to save you from yourself. So let's move on to Ravager. Um, you still have a little bit of a reputation left. So let's. Was she, was she, was she a bonus tune this month? <laughs> no, she no, has a stat boost. Oh, I, I, I didn't even use her once. And I like her a yeah. lot, too. I, I don't think it helped. So you guys, um, save her. So you guys used her. She's still C tier, it looks like. Yeah, just briefly because the the same problems are still there. Like the real heavy heavy reliance on uh, silence, and then she can't she can't do it, and then she's so slow. Tootie, have you used her with your silence teams? Yeah, she's okay. She but her kit right now just needs better RNG. She's still a C tier. And there you go. Tootie stamp. All right, so we'll stay C. Mr. Mirror Master, I'll start with you, Hawkeye, since this is your bay. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's he got a really solid kit. Um, he doesn't fit into the current meta, I think, would be the only reason that I think C would be a fitting tier for him. Um, but right now, it's so many tunes. Don't fit into the, fit into the current meta, so... Uh, I'm trying to go, okay, well, when the meta shifts, where are these tunes going to be? Not necessarily where they are exactly right now. Um, he got a massive speed bump with his uh, stat boost, and it just made it to where he is able to start piling on debuffs that much faster. Um, so yeah, I, I think he's definitely going to be B tier once we get out. Once we get a solution to Atrocitus. M four any. Comments or thoughts? I see you still have. Uh, good. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty much what Hawkeye said, but I'm not as high as him. So same reason, but I still, still think he's a C. Basically, almost unusable at this point. All right, so let's move to Wonder Woman, Coda, Champion of the Amazons. Looks like. We voted B last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it oh, like... she's stat boosted. So you bumped her up to A, M four. Yeah, because she she she's actually quite deadly and scarier. I mean, she was already scary, but now with the stat boost, I mean, like those bot teams are really really scary. And before you sneeze at her, she dies. Now you sneeze, she may or may not die. And then if she survives, you're dead. I think that that's one of the issues is the only time you see her is on those bot teams right now. Um, if you start seeing her more and more, I think she's a, she's a tune that definitely falls into the category that uh, when you use her, she's just okay. When you face her, she is one of the scariest things you can come across. Fair. All right, so it looks like she's staying a B. Moving on to yeah. Jessica Cruz. Um, I'm on the, I was on the fence in this one. Mm -hmm. Um, I voted C, but I didn't realize she was stat boosted. 
Um, <laughs> it, it did not help much. However. You can tell that he was on vacation this month. <laughs> Um, so it looks like we're still pretty much stanking with B. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if she was B before the stat boost, she got a little stronger. So I guess she's going to stay a B. Yeah, I mean, she probably was a C if she didn't get a stat boost. Um, Enchantress, it looks like we had voted her B. It looks like we all unanimously want to put her back to A. Any comments yes. or thoughts on that? Just because she's one of the answers to current meta so yeah we're seeing I, I, a resurgence I, of like yeah i, I agree 100 percent. she's back back to a i, I wish it was 100 percent chance that she got death immunity to start though because she never does when i use her yeah if she, that's the thing is if she does come up for a, a rework that's you know the one thing that if you tweak on her i think she becomes evergreen it's just if you can rely on that turn one um oh she'd be a steer Oh, she'd be a, yeah, it's, it's just gravy from there. I wish we could include that in stat boost, where they just up the percent chance of something. I don't think they do that. They just nerf dunes, and but they don't really change that. They yet. change their they change their gear sets for gear some reason. Set, but they don't touch the actual abilities, as far as I can tell from the existing stat boost. Looks like somebody wanted to put um, Eradicator on there. Looks like everybody still voted we, B. Well, let's see if we have. Wait, Eradicator said, oh yeah, I'm on me have a bright day. He, he's somebody that a lot of folks have thrown out to uh, suggest to counter uh, Cheshire, which he can do it. He's just not the best option to do it. Yeah, like Tootie was saying earlier, he's just, he's a little too slow still. Um, uh, Alan Scott, one of you guys added him back to... Yes, I, I did. I, I wanted to upgrade him because he's he was good he got just bumped down because of uh, the new newly crown ss at that time but now he's again making a comeback just because he can help your just uh, sustain take hits from those new bobbers that came out <clears throat> Feldness, he's not a way be better version of terra he, he they're completely what? different they're, they're, they're so different <laughs> um, aye, aye, aye. It looks like three of you voted S, so maybe he's S again. That that bumps him up to S, yes. Yes. Um, Black Canary, somebody put on the list. For, yeah, I forgot. She is who, just uh, here. She's just here, so the artist will finally move her from S tier to. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's right. Okay. That's that's right. the only I reason I put her on the list. Gotcha. All right. Are we going to sell a tune so we can talk about it? Sell a tune? We're taking. Yeah, we're taking donations, so, oh. so we we can add someone to this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that we're uh, taking that, bribes. That is one thing I wanted to mention: is if you guys do have somebody that you want us to look at, uh, get in touch with me or M4. Uh, that way, we can kind of. Try to put it out there at the beginning of the month so everybody actually has a chance to look at them instead of trying to do it on the fly. Uh, where you know, we might not have touched Arcus in two months, three months, not use them for anything besides raid, so it's hard to say where he's at in PvP. Oh, there you right. go, <clears throat> you need to ask Hawkeye sooner, yeah. Ask Hawkeye if you message me, I may or may not see it. I may or may not get back to it. <laughs> so, actually, well, I said me or N4, but N4 said, just just talk to Hawkeye. I'll take care of it. But, but I, I should be getting a little more back in the chats, and I've had a lot of personal drama over the last several months, so it seems to be calming down at this point, though I have... All behind you right now. Yeah, I do have a little less interest in the game for the last while. I mean, I've been playing every day, but it's just kind of going through the motions hasn't been i don't know hasn't been quite as fun i've been playing a lot of marvel snap which is a lot of fun but though i can't seem to win a match anymore so it's not not that fun but anyway well then go back to dcl where you you're basically the same yeah <laughs> thanks so far or you can play diablo like you guys were or uh 
uh, what was the other one? No, Marvel's now uh, much, much has it has longevity and it isn't a cash thing. Like it, you don't have to pay a bunch. Of money. Is it yeah, not? It's, it's how gonna, much have you spent in the interest. last? Month? I've spent a lot, but I ha It's only because I'm <laughs> buying the variants, and you don't have to. They're just it's just art. So that's just personal. One, one would argue you don't have to spend in DCL either. Well, <laughs> but the, but when you spend, you're increasing the power of your characters. In that game, you're just buying different pictures, so it's a little different. I mean, you've increased your power in this in DC Legends for years, and that didn't help you win either, didn't it? But most of the time, it doesn't. So, so you're right. I I, yeah. I haven't been spending in DCL at all. Like I I buy the raid packs. And honestly, that's all I've been buying the last two months. I had that's the only thing I bought. See, DCL is free, just like Snap. So I mean, that's I, not a selling point. Yeah, I buy. Um, well, I have been buying. I buy, and I haven't bought that many. I just buy a couple of Olay to get, mainly because people expect to get Olay now. So I almost feel like even after the stupid game ends, I'm going to still be forced to buy Olay here and there for certain people. But this is, this game will never die. I've heard this game dying for the past three years at least. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I mean, it will die eventually. There will be a, there oh, will, be, yeah. it will, will eventually happen. So, well, the other game. That got me into this. Injustice One is still going strong. It it was already year three <laughs> when this game came out. Well, not going strong, but still a lot. Oh, I didn't mean. I mean, it could still go another five, ten years, but there will come a they're point gonna where slow they're going to slow down. they're going to slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we won't have monthly yeah. tunes. It'll be like every quarterly tunes, and then yeah, and then, or like refresh. Like the, can you yeah, imagine come back. only having? Um, like one new, two new tunes every three months. That would suck. I'm. At, at least they would do reworks. Then I would be okay with that. Makes it cheaper. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be really boring. Let's we'll see. But they added stuff last. I mean, they added stat boost. So who knows? Stat boost have yeah. been very underwhelming, but at least they. Doing something. It's because people making dumb suggestions on who to. Stat no, boost. they don't even really give us much of a choice anymore. So. Most yeah, because they got burnt. <laughs> the only they, they the, only, the only they good and then the peach forks came out. So why would they listen? But in in the one stat boost that we suggested, turned out to be a great thing. And who might that be? Uh, Mr. Peacemaker. So all the other stat boosts have been worthless. So the one time we suggested it, people pull out the pitchforks, and that was the best one. Go figure. Wonder Girl <laughs> begs to differ, but uh, sure. <laughs> Nobody even uses Everyone's Wonder entitled Girl. to their opinion. Wonder Girl doesn't solve any problems. She's trashed here. Yeah, she causes them. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, Peacemaker <laughs> is then the best one. Um, yeah, Peacemaker definitely the best. All right, guys. Well, with that, we will wrap this up. If you came live, you got to hear this on the 21st. If you're listening on the yeah. podcast, you'll probably hear this on the 31st. Yeah, or the, and censored, heavily censored. Or the seventh of next month. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, you figure it's Christmas week. I don't know. If the artist is gonna. Oh yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Do the art, and then by the time he gets it to me, I may or may not get the episode. Yeah, in a you're right. Manner. So we'll see. Actually, I probably won't do any Most video. Thing. So I'll, well, maybe maybe I'll do a little bit of like solo Cheshire video, and then just slap the art in, make it easy. I don't know. That's what we'll do. But with that, we'll be signing off. Thanks for listening. Everyone have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Some other made-up holidays. Um, and Happy New Year. Peace out. Hi. This is Renee Sylvia, 88, DC Legends moderator. Thank you for listening to this episode of WROL Broadcast. If you liked the show, please check out patreon.com forward slash WROL Broadcast and find out how to get cool perks. Did you hear? Kage is live streaming in the nude. So, we have finally covered this season spreading.